Hello and welcome to another video on our channel. Now, lately I've started watching this amazing YouTube channel called Viva La Dirt League and they have an entire D&D campaign um, that they've been playing for years now and it's amazing to see. Uh, plus they've got this amazing uh, fantasy comedy indie movie called Bail in Drought. So I suggest you check them out. They're amazing. These guys are, they're knocking it out of the park. They're great. But it, um, it got me thinking, let's say that uh, you want to print a set of your own uh, uh, dice for D&D, right? So how would you design that? Well, uh, today we're going to do the icosahedron, which is uh, the D20 die. And it's also uh, the largest of the platonic solids. And fun fact, the five dice that are used in D&D are the five platonic solids so that there's a rabbit hole to go down into um but uh let's not waste any more time okay and let's uh, go and um start designing our icosahedron right so how would i start uh let me show i want to show my planes here okay and do I need my axes? I don't think I'm going to need my axes. I do need to show points though. Okay, so I'll go into the XY plane and start with a pentagon. Okay, just going to make this vertical and I want to fully define it. And it helps if you fully define this thing by dimensioning an edge, right? Because the edge of this pentagon the, these five edges are going to end up being edges of the bottom five faces of the icosahedron, right? If you look at the icosahedron from the bottom, you will see that the bottom five faces trace out this pentagon. So I'm just going to make this uh, 20 millimeters. And just to give you an idea of how, how large the, the die is going to come out, there is this relation between this edge and, and, and the radius of the circumscribed uh, sphere of that uh, platonic solid, right? Of that regular uh, polygon. Uh, and the mathematical relation is that the radius equals this length, the sine of two pi over five, right? I'll have the uh, dimension up there for you I'll have the equation up there for you to see, which means that if I make this edge 20 millimeters, the circumscribed sphere of that die is going to have a radius, not diameter, a radius of just under 20 uh, millimeters. And that will help you size the die, right? You can see how large you want it to be. And then uh, dimension this edge accordingly. So this is really important. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create some reference points from sketch nodes. So I want to select this one and apply. I want to select this one, oops, sorry, this one and apply. And uh, that's it. This is our first sketch done. Then I'm going to sketch on the YZ plane. Okay. And I want to uh, open this menu, which I have a hotkey for, but you can also click here. And I want to project this in um, maintaining association to the source and then I'm going to start an arc normal arc right kind of like here and I want to do two things I want these two points to be horizontal right and I want sorry yeah and I want these two points to be horizontal as well okay so this is the center of the arc so I want to make an arc whose Center sits on the z-axis. You can see that it sits on the z-axis here. Okay. And that it ends on the z-axis as well. Okay. But what about fully defining this? Well, I'm just going to make another edge here. And this edge is going to be yet another edge of the icosahedron. So I'm just going to uh, give this the same value, the D1, right? All of the edges of an icosahedron are equal and all of the faces are equal as all triangles. 
So now you see that this arc is fully defined. And by the way, this arc is part of the circumscribed sphere. And this is the center of the platonic solid and the center of the circumscribed sphere as well. So as you can imagine, this is a pretty important point. And I'm going to uh, make a reference point out of it. And I also want to make a reference point out of this one. Oh, sorry, not like that. Like that. Um, and uh, I don't need these uh, sketch elements, so I'm just going to make them reference geometry. I'll deactivate the sketch. Now, what do I have? Well, I've got one, two, three points here that, based on how we define them and the properties of an icosahedron are the uh, vertices of one of the faces of the icosahedron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the create plane command, select these three points. Um, a, a Libre is going to understand that I want to create a plane by three points and here's my plane. And then I'm just going to go into this plane so these are my three points. This is one, two, three. I want to project them in, by, but I also need to maintain association to source entity, okay? And now, now I'm just going to join them with lines and look what just happened. This is 20 millimeters. This is 20 millimeters as well. And this is 20 millimeters as well. So what I've drawn here is one of the faces of the icosahedron, right? So I will just click, uh, ready to go. And we also said that this is the center of my solid. So I, I think you can see what I'm about to do next. I'm going to create a loft between this sketch and this point. Um, really important stuff, no tangency, right? We don't want any tangency. That, just straight edges. I'll even click simplify and we'll hit OK. So uh, let me turn my planes off and, uh, and my points. I don't need them anymore. So I have just created precisely 1 20th of the icosahedron. And um, again, based on the properties and the symmetries that are derived by the definition of the icosahedron, I can do the following. I will mirror this loft and at this plane. Okay. Then I will make a circular pattern with two instances of this loft about this edge for 144 degrees. So twice which direction? Yeah. So twice the uh, including angle of the pentagon. And I want it to touch the other two like so. Okay. And the, then, uh, which one is it? I think, it, yeah. I'll make another circular pattern of that mirror. And at this edge, no. Yeah, about this edge. Okay. Same angle. Now look what I have. I've got a straight line here. All right. We like straight lines, don't we? Uh, this, this, this should tell you something. When you get that straight line along the z-axis, it should tell you that you're doing something right here. And you will see that I've covered one-fifth of this pentagon. So let's see what happens if I make a full circular pattern of these things, the loft, the mirror, the first circular pattern and the second one. The center of this uh, circular pattern is going to be the Z axis. And I click OK. And this is my D20 die or the icosahedron, the largest platonic solid. Uh, I don't know why, but I think this is very cool. I mean, I don't know. My, my primate brain likes this, I guess. Uh, so if you want to make your own die, uh, this is how you do a d20. And then you go and painstakingly uh, put numbers on these faces. Oh, actually, let me show you how you do that. You click on a face, right? Um, and you want to, I guess you want it centered, right? So 
let's project everything in let's find the center of that um equilateral triangle which is here and i'll create a sketch and this is number one right i'll make it bold make it gothic nah well first of all let's make it larger that's this should be large enough yeah that's too large um ah okay well i'll tell you what yeah this is right there you go so i'll tell you what uh this is square root of three over two times the um the length of the edge right it's the height of the of an equilateral triangle so if i want to make some text i can actually i think i can actually input that so can i yes i can sqrt3 divided by two times d1 well let's yeah minus four millimeters <laughs> well look at that <laughs> that's 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 nice that's nice cd and d is all about math um uh, and i've never played dnd I, I think i should start so yeah there you go you put number one in there let's let's find something that's a bit more fantasy in terms of font no now that's cool okay okay and you can anchor this if you want okay so this is number one and you could extrude <laughs> for five millimeters, but maybe for one millimeter. Maybe. There you go. If you want to be really fancy, you can add a draft too. So, these are the faces. And this is your neutral plane, and you go for. 30 degrees inward. No, not that way. No. What if the neutral plane was this? Ah, there you go. Now that's that's the start of a really, really cool um D and D D20 die. Wouldn't you see? <laughs> I hope you liked this video. Uh if you did, uh, click on the card to watch another one or subscribe uh, to be notified when I make a new one. Um, hit that like button and uh, I hope I see you in the next one guys have a good one